Alright, so today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to use kind of a virtual sustain pedal in FL Studio. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to, you're going to want to go to add. Uh, what is it? You're going to want to find a MIDI out. <coughs> you're going to set it to port 1. Right click this. Hit configure. Type in controller 64. You can name it, uh, sustain if you'd like, uh, but there's no need to. Um, that should be it. Click accept. Now don't touch it yet because we still have to go into contact. Or whatever plugin uh, you're using, you go over here. Actually, I think contact might be the only way you can uh, do it. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to take my word on that. Um, so we'll go to it's either input port or output port. I think it's output, but we'll do both. Because either way, it won't change anything super important. So we'll set both to 1. And then we'll go back in here. We'll turn this all the way up. Um, now keep in mind, it's an on and off thing. It's not like it's, there's not a certain value. Like if you were to set it to 69 or 70, uh, it'd be the same as putting it to 127. And if you were to put it like to 56... It'd be the same as having it at zero. So we're just going to turn it all the way up. Uh, and now, if we press a key, uh, as you see, it uh, it has a sustain, and you can play songs like Gymnopédie and stuff like that. space which starts this little thing right here um so yeah that's how you use a sustain pedal in contact uh sorry for the bad playing i just started learning uh piano and keyboard in general and i'm getting a legitimate piano soon so maybe i'll put out tour to piano tutorials i don't know when i improve but yeah, so have a uh, have a good day and see you guys later.